Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 35 on the seven bedroom house that we are putting up for our lovely client. Yeah, my voice really can tell that I am tired, but I have to work. <laughs> all right, so in your view is a pictorial view of the seven bedroom house that we are putting up for our client. It was designed by the client's own architect, Mr. Charles Basumpra. I have my own architect as well. In case you want to talk to my architect, let me know and I'll share that with you. So in your view, is a cost breakdown, okay? The cost breakdown does not include the roofing sheet. <laughs> per the client's own discretion, we are going to do Euro tiles. So on a 3D, the roof formation you saw there is going to change. And okay, it's going to change so that the architect will have to give us a final 3D of the layout of how the roof formation is going to be. You understand? So it is very, very important. So I welcome you back to Oyarifa. All right. We are working steadfastly okay yes there's no time to waste we have to finish this because we have a timeline you understand so we are working this is one of the project that is also a non-stop project continuously we are working once we finish with the blog work the next minute plumbing and electrical works will commence cctv will commence you understand and then solar water heater system and then in case the client requests for solar system as a backup all these would have to be done and then the next minute we are installing our door frames based on the client's preference with such houses i need natural natural doors build heavy duty beams you understand quality you know locally made doors it will fit this house because the door height we are giving this particular building is eight feet now we don't do seven feet door height anymore usually eight feet you understand seven feet is too small i a kick a trim so we are doing eight feet height for this particular building you understand so after the setting out blog work commences and then we, we we proceed up to a height that we want to achieve now it is always important to know the height of your floor to ceiling your floor to ceiling height is very very important okay so this is the boys quarters area okay so there's going to be a kitchen over there just a small kitchen for the uh, maids or whoever will be staying in the house okay, you understand so this first bedroom and that is the second bedroom okay and that is the washroom over there you understand so there are two rooms over here you understand two rooms over here and then from here you come to the african kitchen okay yes this area is the african kitchen from the african kitchen you go through the pantry okay so that is the pantry that you have over there okay yes and then to your right you're entering into the open kitchen concept and then you have the far end as that of the uh, dining area yeah so it is very very important and you can see the blog work should be neat the mortar bedding is also important because if you have different type of masons you know their mortar beddings will be will differ from one another so as they move along they need to ensure that they have a top level you understand if one mason is on the far left and then another mason is on the far right when they lay their blocks they need to achieve the same equilibrium at the top so you need to put a spirit level on this far left and then far right to see if they are all achieving the same level all the way to the top you understand because the manner in which the other mason will scoop the mortar Will be different from the other mason so they need to communicate with each other so that their mortar bedding will be almost the same you understand it will be almost the same so it is a beautiful seven bedroom house yes and we are using six inches 
quarry dust. The cement is 42.5 R. The iron rods we are using 16 mm. Okay, so here we have another entrance here. We have two entrances to this beautiful house. Okay, we have that for the wheelchair area, which is going to be a glide scope. Are you with me? Yes. And so we have the main entrance, which is by the main front of the design. And then this is on the, on the left hand side if you're facing the house. Here, this is another bedroom with a walk in closet and the bathroom. Okay. Yes. We have the visitor's toilet. And then we walk into a steady area. So here they are going to do some changes, which I'll be showing you going forward in our next videos. I'll be engaging you in this particular area, what the changes are going to be from here. Okay, so this whole area is going to have the spiral staircase. Okay, we call the holocaust staircase. Okay, yes, which is half a circle. All right, and it's so beautiful that is going to take this whole area. And then from here, we have the visitor's toilet, as I indicated. Okay, here we are ushering into the master bedroom. Are you with me? Yes. So the design is unique, um, uniquely designed. And um, I can't wait to finish this house and then um, be part of the history makers. <laughs> I just want to be part of the history makers. So it's step by step in the process. So I indicated that every building, you need to know the height that you want to achieve from floor to ceiling. Usually you should be able to achieve three meters after your ceiling, which if you want to do a POP or a plasterboard, and then your screening and then your tiling, you should be able to achieve a three meter you know, length from floor to ceiling. That gives you the ample space to be able to have your ceiling fan, your chandeliers, okay, and then any hanging thing that perhaps when you raise your hand, it will not have any contact with it. You understand? So all these need to be factored in so that the blog work will go as 12 course. Instead of the usual 9 course, it has to go 12 course. Are you with me? So after the first setting out, we have the architect uh, come on board and check if the room measurement and everything was as per the design. Okay, so upon his arrival, um, the client decided to do some few changes. So they have to do those changes before the blog work um, continues, which is normal because you know, as human beings, we all revolve. We revolve and today you will see something you like it tomorrow you would want to change it in the stand so this is the time to do all those changes in the stand yeah, so the architect came in check everything everything was perfect and where the client wanted changes they effected those changes and then they can stack up the block and continue with the work so it's a beautiful journey which um, I'm grateful to be part of. Um, we have other projects uh, springing up and hopefully I'll get the chance to be able to share that with you so that we can all learn from time to time. From here, you should be able to know the type of windows that you want, okay, the door height, the width of the door, all these you need to be able to know before they even get to finish the blog so that you know that, okay, this is the width of my door, this is the height that I'm looking for, you understand, yes. I made certain comments that, you know, I am the type that when, I, you know, every day something comes to mind, I try to share it. So I'm a very passionate person that all that you're doing, make sure that, you see, your goodness is written on water. It is human nature. It's only few people that acknowledge it. You understand? Your goodness is written on water. But one mistake that you do is written on diamond. So this is a social media. And the reason for this comment, you know, it helps me to be very cautious of what I'm doing. It's self-consciousness, self-actualization, self-consciousness. That be very careful what you do.
because in one mistake a through the social media that made me popular through the same social media they can tarnish my reputation you understand so that is what i usually say your goodness is written on water which is natural because you can reflect this in many situations based on the circumstances in which you find yourself some people may have been disappointed by certain personalities that you know they might have have hope in them and even they might have even go extra mile to do certain things for them but never felt appreciated and so the commentary will go Oh, all that I have done for you has just gone in shambles. Are you with me? So I have to be very careful whatever I do. It is very, very important. And then also, you will be tested. You will be tested. So how faithful can you be in the test of time? How faithful can you be in the test of time? And during that time, you will be tested. You should be vindicated that, okay, Mr. Bright has gone through all the challenges and all of that. And for that matter, he has passed the test. Are you with me? Are you? So it is very, very important that you set a good reputation that everybody will always vouch for. Because people believe me. People trust me. And for that matter, I need to be very careful in whatever I do, how I carry myself, how I report issues, how I even take things. You understand? Yeah, it is very, very important. So, lovely viewers, once again, I appreciate all of you for your support, your um, support to the channel and to myself, some of whom usually send me messages to encourage me in what I'm doing. I really appreciate all of you. Again, let me know if there's any mistake somewhere, always do the same medium. Write to me personally and say, Mr. Bright, I wish you would correct this area. Are you with me? It makes me become a better person. Okay? I love you and I want the best for you. If you want some help, please do not hesitate. My name is Mr. Bright. My number is on the screen. Write to me, call me, and let's get talking. From me to you, shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.